Okay, so now that we have all the parts done, we're going to go ahead and put that into an assembly. Now, after I made the video, I realized that I forgot to make the perch. It's the little dowel that goes in that the bird would stand on. Um, so I'm going to start off by showing you how to make that really quick, and then we're going to go straight into the assembly part of the assignment. So I'll go into here. This is where we left off. Um, is here. Um, so I've got my the front, the back, the base, the side panel, the left, and the right roofs. So like I said, I forgot. So I'm just going to jump in here to right roof. I'm going to add another part. Start a sketch on the front. Okay. Now this, since it's a dowel, it's just going to be a, a little stick, basically. It's a round stick. So I'll go here with a circle. Okay. I'm going to draw a circle. The dowel that we're going to use is a quarter inch. Um, that's the standard size that you would buy at a hardware store or anything like that. And then I'll go extrude. And this I'm going to go ahead and make two inches. So two, like that. And then hit check. Now I have that done. I'm going to just give this a title. So I will rename it. Um, perch. That's how you spell perch, like that. So that is the perch, the little dowel piece. So now, like I said, we're going to go ahead and get into the assembly. Now, it should be an assembly one already. If there isn't, you can hit the plus symbol and add an assembly. Um, but I can go in here and show you. So right now, I'm set up to do an assembly. And so now, right now, I have a blank screen. There's nothing there. So what I'm going to have to do is start uh, bringing parts in. Okay, and usually what I recommend is just bringing in a part or two at a time. I don't recommend throwing down all the parts that you have on here and trying to work with that because you're constantly shifting things around to click on different sides. And it's sometimes hard when you have all these parts everywhere. And so, so usually I just go a couple at a time just to keep it kind of simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit insert because I need to grab a part. Okay, and then down here you have all your parts that you've made. Okay, I'm going to start with the front and honestly, I recommend it because if I'm thinking ahead, I need to put that perch in place before I put like the sides and the back on so I can get to it um, because it has to, you'll see where it has to mate up to. So I've got that there Then I'm going to go ahead and grab the perch and I'm just going to throw that in there too. Okay, now don't, don't forget to click check mark and then that closes out and I can put these together. Now, this is the, the one tough mate, and that's the other reason I wanted to do this first. All the mates we're going to use to put together the, the birdhouse will be just a planer mate is what it's called. Uh, one mate for everything we do. The one exception to this is the perch. Because it's round, it takes a cylindrical mate, okay? The other thing I want you to remember is that the perch, it could... Um, we're not going to actually lock it in place, so it'll only get two mates. One that puts it to the circle, and then one that sets the back to the inside. Um, there will be an open mate there, because you know everything gets three mates. Um, there will be one open. Technically, it would be able to turn inside the hole, but we'll go. it's not a big deal. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go cylindrical, which is right here next to planar. Okay, I'm going to rotate this around, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the circle here of the um, dowel, and then I'm going to go to this hole and click there. So now you can see that it went ahead and put it inside of there. I'll hit solve. Don't forget to hit solve and check. Now, if I look at this, that's where I want it to be, but the problem is, is like I said, I can move this in and out now. I need to get it set so it doesn't move anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to use another cylindrical mate. I'm actually done with cylindricals for the rest of this project. So I'm going to do a planar mate next. Okay. And what I'm going to do is drag this and I'm going to pull that out of there. Okay. And then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to click on the back of that dowel with this back surface of or inside surface of the front. Now you can see it just throws it there. I know it's not in the hole, which isn't a big deal, but it throws it there just to confirm that that's the direction that I want it. A lot of times I will look at it and make sure, and to me, that looks good to me. So I'll hit solve, 
you'll see it drops back in, then I hit check. Now, like I said, this does technically, it is short of eight, so you could take this and turn it, but if I try to test this right now and try to pull this out, it won't go anywhere. It's fused together. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start putting on the sides. So what I'm gonna do is go to insert, and I'm gonna grab one of my side panels. And I'm gonna set it there, okay? And then I just hit check to close that, okay? Now, the way the side panels work is this is gonna have to turn 90 degrees, okay? But I don't want you to get in the habit of rotating things um, with a rotate command. I want you to get in the habit of picking surfaces that force things to go into place. And so I'll show you with this example what I mean by that. I know that looking at these two surfaces, and if I rotate this, this will make more sense, that this side right here, edge of the side, needs to go against the inside of this birdhouse. So I'm gonna use planar, and like I said, from here on out, we're gonna use planar for everything. And I also want you to remember that when we're using planar and everything we make together, we need three mates on every part we put together. So I'm gonna to go to this side right here. I'm gonna zoom in, make sure I've got the flat part like that and I don't have an edge. I'm gonna to go to here and I'm gonna click there. Now looking at this, if you look at it close, you can see it's going the wrong way. I need this board to go to the right. So what I'm gonna do is right here, there's a flip button, I hit flip, and now you can see that the board goes the other way. I'm gonna go ahead and hit solve and check, okay? So now this board is set in place. You can see I can't move it any into that board, but I can slide it up and down. So I need to get two more mates involved. So I'm gonna use planar again, which it already is set for planar. I'm gonna click on this face here, like that, and then this edge right here or side, because I want those two surfaces to be flat with each other. Um, then what you do is zoom out and see if it's right um, direction-wise. If I look, I can see this is not the way I want it to go because the board is actually inside this other board. So I need to flip direction. That puts it on the outside, which I'm sorry, flip it back. That would be correct because I want it flush with the edge of this board. I hit solve and you'll see what I'm saying by it goes into position. I can see that this is not inside this one and I don't want it on the outside. I want everything flush across the side. And then I just click check and then that side is done. Now the last one, it looks like it's all set and done. The problem is, is that right now you can see that this board slides up and down this way. So what I need to do is set it so that it doesn't move that way anymore. And that's gonna be the third mate that we're gonna use. So I'm gonna to go to this, click on the bottom, and then go to this bottom, click. I can see that they're lined up the way I want. Hit solve and check, and there is the side, okay? So I'm gonna do that same thing to the other side. I'm just gonna go insert, grab a side panel, click there check, get planar. I'm gonna come in and click on this side and this inside. Again, I'm gonna check direction, which it's backwards. So I flip to make sure it's on the inside. Check, okay. Now I'm gonna pick this face with this edge. That's what's gonna turn it up into position. Now, again, I'm going to look, like I said last time, I kind of messed up here um, in what I was saying, but I'm checking to see that these are on the same side because when I slide this back, it needs to be flush with the outside of this board. Um, so I click check, solve, check, sorry, and there's that, okay? And then, like I said, then everything is in line. This is all flush here. Only thing I've got to do is get the bottom in place. So I just move that to there, click these two surfaces for the bottom, and then look at it really quick. Yep, that's where I'm going to want it. Hit solve and check, and then that's in place. So now I've got the sides and the front set. So now I need to bring in the back. So I'm going to go ahead and hit insert, 
back. And the back is going to go on just like the front did where it sits outside of that board. So I'm just going to drop that in place. Okay. Hit check. Planar mate. I'm going to click on this surface with this surface. Okay. Now we really got to check to make sure it's on the correct side, which it is. See if I would have it the other way, see it would be inside that board. That really is impossible. So you got to make sure it's sitting on the outside. Click check. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this side here with this face here, and that should slide it back into position. Make sure it's the right direction, which it is. Hit check. Now, one more left. Like I said, there's always three. So you can see that I've got one more open, and it's the bottom that needs to get set. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this bottom surface right here, and then this bottom surface right here. Hit solve and check. So that is the front, the back, and the sides all set into place. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring the bottom in and set that in place. I do want you guys to know that the bottom is going to sit flat with the back. We're not going to try to center it or do anything like that. We're just going to have a, a basically an overhang on the front. We're going to do the same thing with the roof. So if we, we were going to screw this to a tree or a wall or something like that, which is what I'm kind of planning on in these blueprints, is that, like I said, that back would have to be flat. So we couldn't have the roof overhang the back and we couldn't have the base overhang the back. So we'll just flush it. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the back or base. Toss that in place. Okay. Check. Now, thinking ahead, I'm going to go ahead and drop. I'm going to put this underneath this first. Okay. So I'm going to hit planar. I'm going to hit this big surface here with the bottom of my project. Now, when I look at it, I see that the base is inside of the boards. That won't work. So I flip direction, that way it's sitting below it, okay? Solve, check. Now, I know that this is gonna have to turn around. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick the side here and then the back of the back, and that way that should rotate it around and flush the back together. So planar, I'm just gonna go right here and the back of the back right there. I take a look at it. Yes, that is the correct way I would want it. Hit solve. You can see there, and then check. There. So now that's done. Now it looks done again, like I said. The problem is, is that that's only been two mates. So again, if I grab this, you can see it still slides in one direction. So the last one that I'm going to need to do is going to be this side to the side of the house. You can see that that flushes it there. Hit solve, check, and there's the base. Okay. Now, I'm going to do the roof. Okay. Now, like I said earlier in the first video, the roof, you have to remember that the, the, the right overhangs the left. Okay. So, because I'm going to do it that way, what I recommend is putting the left one in first because it has a nice place to flush with. I don't have to do any offsets or anything like that. If I did the right one first, I would have to do an offset at the top because it has to match up with the left. Um, so I would do the left one first. And so I'm going to go ahead and hit insert. I'm going to grab that left roof, drop it into place, hit check. Now, the roof, it really it doesn't matter whether you put this on the left or the right. I just gave it a left and right name because I wanted one to be for one side and one to be for the other. So, like I said, it really doesn't matter if you put it on the left or the right side of the house um, at all. So, I'm going to go ahead and hit planar. I'm going to click on this flat surface here. Now, that needs to sit on top of this back or front. doesn't matter, but it's this angled part. Now I'm going to take a look at this and I can't, this isn't possible. You can't put this inside this board. So you have to flip direction because it has to sit on the outside of it. Okay. Then I'm going to click solve and check. So now that's set in place. Now I need to flush the back because like I said, this needs to be able to sit up against a tree or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and use planar. I'm going to click on the back of this with the back the back 
take a look at it, make sure it's the right direction. It is. Solve, check, okay, like that, all right. Now, the last one, and this is why I did the small one first, you can see it needed to decide where it sits this way, okay? Now, because I did the small one first, I don't have to overhang this like I would if I was doing the other one so it had room for another roof to come in here, okay? This one actually will just get flushed. And so all I have to do with this is just go from this here to this right here because remember the board would have to sit there flat. I check the direction which yep that is the way I would want it. Hit solve and check and see now this is nice and flush so the right side can come into place after that. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to insert, grab the right roof, throw it over there, hit check. Okay, same process before, I'm gonna hit planar. And then this has gotta go right here. Check to see is it the right way. Nope, it's inside the board. So I'm gonna flip it, hit solve, check. Okay, now I'm gonna do the back. So I click there with the back of the back. And that is the way I would want that. Click check. Okay, so now I'm ready to get this board into position and you can see what I was saying by you have to leave there's an overhang there so it covers that left roof okay so for this all I have to do is just make this here flush with this right here and I can see that that yes that would be flush with that surface hit solve now it drops into position hit check and there it is so now that I have this done, um, that's the end of this video for making an assembly. So this assembly is completely done. I have all my parts together. If I come in here and I try to grab any of these parts, everything moves as one, which is the way it should be because I did put three mates on everything except that perch. So if you guys get any questions, please let us know. Um, the next video is going to be how to make a set of blueprints out of this so that way we can give dimensions and things like that to people or ourselves to make sure it's going to fit into spots and things like that so hopefully the video worked out well for you if you have any questions like i said let us know thanks